Hello everyone, I'm Jeff Stanley with Stanley Handcrafted and today I have another fragrance oil review. Now the three oils that I'm gonna be talking about today are ones that I've been selling for a little while and uh, they're very good ones to have in your collection. And uh, I, they're from three different companies so I kinda wanted to split it up a little bit and talk about a few different ones. Uh, the first one that I've got is Fireside from Candle Science. Now this is definitely a fragrance that is gonna be real hit or miss uh, with a lot of people but I'm gonna tell you exactly why I think it should be in your kind of fragrance arsenal. Uh, the next one is going to be Fruity Rings or Fruit Loops from Nature's Garden. And the last one is going to be Pomegranate Noir from Flaming Candle. And this is a Joe Malone type fragrance. So if you're looking for more of like a perfume style fragrance uh, and you know Joe Malone and their fragrances, this is a very nice one. And of course, before we get into this, I want to say please hit the subscribe button. I know a ton of people watch these videos and it's a very small percentage uh, of the people that watch this that are actually subscribed to the channel. So please hit the subscribe button down below, hit the thumbs up because it helps with the YouTube algorithm. And of course, I do have a second channel where I talk about things other than candles. So if you want to subscribe to the other channel, I'll go ahead and link it down below. It's just youtube.com slash Jeff Stanley. And that one, I talk about a few different things like the camera and uh, I have a lot of people that watch these videos that ask uh, what equipment, lights, cameras, the lighting and everything like this, what do I use? And that channel goes into a lot more stuff like that. So we're just gonna go ahead and jump right into this one. Uh, the first one I'm gonna bring up is the Candle Science Fireside. Uh, now this one, I'm gonna go ahead and read through the, uh, through the notes like I always do. Uh, and they said, finally captured the true essence of sitting by a cozy fire with our fireside fragrance oil. Familiar, distinctive, the scent melds notes of smoke and wood into a warm union of clove, amber, sandalwood, and patchouli. Now the note profile in this one, uh, the top note is saffron, the middle is clove, incense, and sandalwood, and the base is an amber, patchouli, and smoke. Now this is a fragrance oil that I kind of go back and forth on liking and not liking. It's very distinct. Uh, it definitely stands out. Uh, I will say I like this scent a lot, but I do not like it as a main candle. I, I don't ever make this candle uh, with straight Fireside. I use this as a base. Uh, and that's exactly what this is really good for. Fireside is a base in like vanillas, uh, marshmallow. Uh, so you make like, so you can make like a, uh, a Fireside or a marshmallow Fireside, campfire, s'mores, stuff like that. Uh, it's a very nice one like that. Now with this one, you definitely pick up the smoke and the amber probably more than anything. Uh, I don't know that I get uh, too much patchouli out of this one it's I mean it's kind of hiding in the background but it's very very basic with this one the one that definitely stands out it definitely smells like smoke so if you're not a fan of campfire smell this is not for you uh, but if you do want to get like kind of a smoky marshmallow uh, that campfire smell along with like s'mores and everything this is definitely something that you should have because it's a good mix and then of course going back into this one I don't know that I pick up too much of the saffron uh, maybe a little bit of the clove but the ones that stand out for me are definitely definitely the amber uh, and definitely the smoke. Those two really stand out more than anything else in this one. So if you have some amber, uh, open that one up, smell it. it it's, I, I'd say probably a good 30 or 40% of the smell in this one is definitely the amber. And then of course the smoke taken up easily another 30, 40% in this one. And then the rest of the 20% is definitely gonna go towards like a blend of the others. I, so for this one, it's kind of hard to give it a, a rating on kind of the, the rating system that I do for oils. But I will say this, if I was gonna put this one in, as a rating, this candle by itself, if you were to put it on your shelves or take it to a farmer's market, Market. Fireside by itself, uh, if you're gonna take 12 candles to a farmer's market, you're probably gonna sell like two of these. But as a mix, if you're mixing this with like a vanilla, uh, marshmallow, or any other types of scents, I can't think of any right now. If you're mixing those with those, you can definitely get a good blend and come up with a good candle that's definitely gonna sell. So I've taken marshmallow fireside to a farmer's market and they easily sell probably eight or nine out of 12 if I was to take 12 candles uh, to a farmer's market. All right, so jumping into the next one is gonna be the Pomegranate Noir from uh, Flaming Candle. Uh, like I said, it's a Joe Malone fragrance, so it's a, a Joe Malone type fragrance. Uh, the Pomegranate Noir is one of their very popular uh, perfumes that they have. And the description on this one is wild berries, crisp apple, sweet oranges combined with a spicy floral note on a light background of tonka and soothing woods. Uh, the notes on this one, the top is apple, green, and orange. The middle is lavender, jasmine, and clove. And the bottom is woody and raspberry. 
Now with this one, I'm not a huge fan of this one. Uh, there's a little bit of a scent in the back end of this one that doesn't really hit just right. Um, I'm not exactly what, I'm not exactly sure which fragrance it is on the back of this one. Um, you get a little bit of the woody, the raspberry definitely comes out in this one. Um, you get a little bit more of the kind of lavender and jasmine kind of blended in with this one. But it's definitely a little more fruity, raspberry, pomegranate. But I know with this one, when I make it into a candle and I burn it, uh, it's got it's got a little bit of a scent on the back end of it. When the, when the scent first hits me, it's very nice. It's very bright, fruity. Uh, I don't get as much floral on this one as they say in the, uh, the notes here. Uh, and then as you start to smell it, there's like a lingering smell in the back uh, that it, it doesn't really sit well with me. But again, it doesn't really matter what I think. It matters how well these sell. And then of course, going to the top notes on this one, uh, the apple, the orange, and the green. I don't know what the heck green smells like. <laughs> but I would imagine probably a little bit more herbal. Uh, I don't know if that's what they mean on this one, but uh, I mean, it, I definitely get maybe a little bit of an herbal scent in this one. Uh, the apple and the orange, very light if they're in there at all. I don't get a strong crisp apple or an orange out of this one. Like I said, it's definitely more pomegranate, raspberry, uh, and then I think you get a little bit of the floral on the back end of that one. Now this one I definitely have made into candles. It does well, but it's not a huge seller. Uh, it's a very nice one because once people realize that it is a Joe Malone scent, you have a lot of people that will pick it up based on that. So if I was gonna put this thing on a rating system, the 12 candles taken to a farmer's market, I would say you're probably gonna get five or six out of this one. Now it's not a huge seller. Uh, it's not a big one sitting on a farmer's market, but it is one that you can kind of keep around all year round, which is why I put it in this list. It definitely sells through the fall and winter, which is peak candle season. And it, it kind of lingers and really sells uh, through the summer and spring as well. And like I said, it's a well-known scent. So as soon as people see pomegranate noir, or if you let people know, uh, if somebody comes up to the farmer's market or your table and asks uh, for some type of perfume scent, you can definitely recommend this one and it goes a long way. Now, the last one in this list is definitely my favorite on this list. And that is uh, the Fruit Loops or Fruity Rings from Nature's Garden. Uh, this one is a big seller. It smells incredible. And I'm gonna go ahead and read the notes in this one. It basically says, the flavor of fruit flavored ring cereal. Your children will love it. Uh, Nature's Garden Fruity Rings fragrance begins with top notes of lemon rinds, lime, grapefruit, middle notes of lemongrass, lily, and verbena, and base notes of vi vanilla and sugar, or vanilla sugar. Uh, it's one of their best sellers, and it's easy to see why. Uh, if you've ever opened up a box of Fruit Loops. Uh, as soon as you open up the box and you like open the bag and you smell it, that's exactly what this smells like. I mean, it is identical. So if you like Fruit Loops, uh, if you've got a box in your house right now, go open it up right now, and that's exactly what this smells like. Uh, it doesn't differ from that at all. It's. Uh, I mean, I honestly don't even have to explain this one. It's Fruit Loops. Uh, it smells incredible in the candle, the cold throw, the hot throw, very bright, fruity. The lemongrass definitely stands out in this one. Uh, the verbena, you definitely get that. Lemon rinds, lime, grape. Uh, the vanilla sugar, you get a little bit on the back end. It's a base note in this one, but to me, the fruit notes in this one stand out more than anything. And this is easily a bestseller. Like I said, if I was gonna take this one to a farmer's market, and I have taken this one to a farmer's market, it easily sells It easily sells 10 to 12 if I was gonna take 12. Uh, very recognizable scent as soon as people pick it up. Now, obviously with this one, you wanna name it Fruity Rings. You, you don't wanna name it Fruit Loops for copyright and trademark reasons. Uh, but if you put fruit, like fruit ring cereal, something like that, people know what it is. And as soon as they pick up the candle, they open the lid and they smell it, it's almost an automatic seller. So that is pretty much it with this one. Just a quick fragrance oil review. I had a lot of people asking for some new oils. I've got a bunch more downstairs. I'm gonna try to release a bunch more in the next coming weeks, especially with people buying a lot more oils this time of year. Uh, so I hope you like these. If you've used these oils, please let me know what you think of them in the comments below. And with something like the Fireside, if you use that, uh, as a straight candle, please let me know what you think in the comments down below. And if you blend it with anything, go ahead and let me know in the comments down below. And of course, I've included links to every single one of these in the video description down below as well. So Nature's Garden, Flaming Candle, and Candle Science, uh, great places. I buy a lot of oils from each of those places. 
Uh, so definitely jump over there, take a look at these. I would recommend getting at least one of each of these to try them. They're very good oils, very good sellers. And of course, you can follow me on any of the social media platforms that I've also listed down below, Facebook, Instagram, my website, the email address, the phone number if you wanna sign up for uh, like, uh, alerts when new tins come out, new glass comes out every time, especially right now with everything being so out of stock. Uh, every time I see something like new glass popping up or it's back in stock, uh, I'll send out an alert to everybody that's on the text thread. So that number, if you wanna reach out and you sign up for that is 253-303-7968. And definitely give the video a thumbs up, subscribe, and thank you for watching.